Oh my goodness. What an amazing week. Week six was out of this world, y'all. And you all are excited, as I am, to tell you who got entries, and who won, and who lost. Here we go, y'all. Week six. It's getting really, really good. As you already know, Alabama beat Texas A&M, but it was a tough game, 27-19. Georgia beat the crud out of Vanderbilt, 45-14. Ole Miss lost to Auburn, 44-23. All three of them games I did pick correctly. LSU skipped over Florida barely by one point, but I'm not upset. They played well. Um, it is what it is. Go Gators. The last three games that the Florida's played in, they've come out on top with just by one point, so I can't complain. So uh, my hat's off to them. But LSU did win, and that was one of the game of the week. So whoever took LSU, you got an entry. That's the first game of the week I've lost this year. Put it that way. South Carolina, them chickens were rocking 48-22 over the hogs of Arkansas. Kentucky held on to beat Missouri 40-34. to That was a Great game I hear. I did not get to watch one game. I had to work third shift, and then I had to cover second shift Saturday. So I hope y'all really enjoyed them games. I think the other game of the week, I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember now. It may have been Georgia Vanderbilt. No, I think I called Alabama, Texas A&M. Either way, Alabama won and Georgia won. All right, let's see who picked what. I got it right here. I picked Auburn. I missed Florida. I picked the Gamecocks, Bama, and Kentucky. I had one loss, and if you lose one, you tie to me. Dark Matter, best week you've had all year. You lost one, but as you can see, this one right here, you got an entry because you picked LSU. Congratulations. Hunting the Hathaway. You just missed two, brother. But you got an entry because you took LSU. Right there. Congratulations. Nanette Monet. I'm going to say I'm not sure if that's right. Let me know in the comments if I'm saying your name right. You had one loss, but you got one entry because you picked LSU. Jared Dilly. You had two losses. Wade Hughes, you had one loss, which is a tie. But because you had LSU, you got an entry. Congratulations. Nathan McIndry, outstanding. The first one, as far as from top to bottom, that has got a perfect week. Congratulations. You get two entries. Because you had a perfect week, you get an entry, and you picked LSU. You get another entry. So congratulations. You're way ahead of most of them. Not just rocks. Good job, brother. You picked LSU. You only lost one, which was Arkansas, but you got an entry. Kevin Acre, two losses. Infected Styles, you got one loss, which was a tie, which means you lose. And that was Florida, just like me. John and Deb Fajan. You had one loss, but because you took LSU, you got an entry. Shane's World, you had one loss, Texas a and but you picked LSU, you got an entry. Florida, Arkansas, I mean, uh, G-Money, you missed two. Michael Morris, you missed one, but because you got LSU, you got an entry. The Laughing Line, you missed one, but you picked LSU, you get an entry. Big Boy Bushcraft. You missed two. I'm sorry, you missed three. No. 
You picked LSU. Big boy Bushcraft, you get an entry, brother. I will correct this. Lilla Dykes, you had two losses. Tracy Azeel, another perfect week. Another perfect pick. Awesome, awesome job. You get two entries. Great American Survival. Marvin, you did good. You had one loss, which was a tie, but you did pick LSU, so you get an entry. Palmetto Paratrooper, you had three losses. Southern Food Junkie, another awesome, awesome week for you. Look at that. Perfect pick. You get two inches, brother. John Sellers, you had one loss, which was the same as mine, Florida. It's a tie, you lose. Kristen Janaki Show, you had one loss. You tied, but you picked LSU, so you get, which LSU, y'all, was the game of the week against Florida, so you get an entry. Jamie Slate Music, you come in a little late Saturday morning, but I went ahead and added you because the games had not started. Please try to get your entries in the night before. Um, you only had one loss, but it was the same as mine, so you lose. It's a tie. So, Big Boy Bushcraft, I will get that corrected, brother. You won't see it on this next page. This next page where I show everybody who's – there's actually 15 counting Big Boy Bushcraft. I already wrote down everybody else's. How many you've got? Dark Matter's got one. Hunting Hathaway's got one. Nanette Manet has got one. Wade Hughes got one. Nathan McIntyre – McIndry. It's got two, and I just went ahead and crossed the board. Y'all can just pause it and look at it. Check it out. Okay? I will have Big Boy Bushcraft on there. All right. Now, we're going to rock it on to week seven. Who is going to win week seven? Who's going to be the game of the week? I don't know yet. I'm looking at it as you're looking at it. Mississippi State is playing BYU. Now the SEC is actually starting to play outside of their conference. We're going to have more games more than likely. Mississippi State is playing BYU. BYU is 1-5. and five. Mississippi State's 3-2. and two. Mississippi is at home. I'm going to take Mississippi State. Tennessee, South Carolina. Holy moly, what a game. Tennessee is only – they've lost two games, but two tough games. And um, they're on a rebound. South Carolina is doing really good right now. They're going to be at home in Tennessee. I got to go with the Gamecocks. I'm sorry, Tennessee. And I know Tennessee's giving up two and a half points, but I'm taking the Gamecocks. They had a heck of a win last week. In Tennessee, you're just in bad shape right now. Go Gamecocks. Auburn LSU. They're in LSU. They're playing Auburn. LSU. Come off a big win at Florida, away at home. They're going to definitely want to win because they're at home. They're playing Auburn. Auburn's been playing good. They're three and zero in the SEC. Oh my God, this is going to be a tough game. Oh my God, I don't know who to pick. Um, I may regret this, but I'm going to go with Auburn. They're ranked number ten. They're giving up six and a half points. I just think Auburn's going to win it. Ole Miss, Vanderbilt. Looks like Ole Miss may be at home. Oxford, Mississippi. Um, they're both not doing very well. They're 0-2 and 0-3. This will be whichever one of these is going to come out of here with a win in, in uh, division. Mississippi State looks like they're giving up three and a half points. But I'm going to go with Vanderbilt. Because Vanderbilt was playing good before they played anybody else. So I'm going to take Vandy on this one. Texas A&M, Florida. The way Texas A&M played Alabama, I don't know if Florida's got a chance. I really, really don't. And it's showing Florida giving up three points. I just don't see it. But I'm going to take Florida. I just got to. And that may be my Achilles heel, but it may help y'all get a win over me. Alabama and Arkansas. Alabama all the way. I don't see Arkansas even coming close, especially if they're in that Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and they're at 715. Prime time, baby. 730. Georgia, Missouri. Number four, Georgia's playing number nobody, Missouri. And I'm going with Georgia. 
because they're in Athens. And that's just the way it is down here in Georgia. All right. The game of the week. Oh, how many games have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. Pick all seven games this week. Game of the week will be South Carolina, Tennessee. And again, I am taking South Carolina. Go chickens. Y'all have a good time. I really appreciate y'all playing, coming here and seeing Calvin's Corner send me too. And uh, leave me a like if you really enjoy playing this game. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, congratulations to everybody that got entries this week. Y'all come back and see me. Tell all your friends. It's Calvin's Corner send me too. Do it.